market update for the fifth. So pretty much the last couple of days have just been chopping around between uh, 415 and 409. Um, Not much movement. If you're trading and you made money the last couple of days, then you did really well because there really wasn't the best risk reward. If you're buying options, you might as well just wait for it to break out and then buy options or, buy, or determine your position then. Um, I traded a little bit today. I got stopped out on some puts thinking that uh, this was actually going to be a move lower than here. And at one point, I was actually thinking that we were going to break the low of here at some point. Or no, 409.62. I thought we were going to break the low of here. And this is actually going to end up being a five-wave move. But that didn't happen. And uh, we ended up coming back up here. And now it looks like we have a first wave here. We have an A wave here. And then we have A, B, B1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And probably get a B wave sometime into Monday. I'm guessing uh, early in the morning on Monday. Maybe midday. We get up to here, so I'm guessing it's going to be green on early Monday, and then we get a move down here where I would expect us to go probably just going to be somewhere around the same area as the A wave. So maybe we get down in here, and then it takes us another day to come down and meet this again. That would be the overall C wave, so let's say maybe sometime later in Monday, and then that would be the second wave. So just a long, drawn out second wave is what it looks like. So we'd have one, A, B, C, two, and then from there, I would be looking for a move all the way up to about 420 so I'll move up to this area right here maybe into like mid next week and then a small move down to about 418 and then a move one more move higher for the overall fifth wave to 425 to 425 ish something like that and that would be one two three four five you get the point. So just kind of a long drawn out second wave is what it looks like right now. Of course, it could go, it could be ABC and this is the end of it right here and we have one. But the, here's the thing though, this right here, it was definitely an ABC move. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see more chop going into next week on Monday. And then here on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll finally see that move higher and then all the way up to 425. So if you're trying to buy options right now, I would just wait for it to come down here and then you should have a pretty good um, idea what's going on. As long as it doesn't break this right here, 407.91 could go AB all the way down here. You can buy with a stop below 407.91. And then if you get the move up here, you could have a pretty good um, trade right there. Make some good money. So that's kind of what I'm looking for on SPY, on the VIX. Uh, I'm not really using Elliott Wave that much right now because I don't know how many times we've gotten a five wave move and it just breaks down to the downside. So the VIX, like I said before, is not really that good with Elliott Wave. So I just use trend lines and it actually broke this long term trend line too. And so that's pretty bullish for the overall market in my opinion. It could just keep on coming down here. We don't know where it's going to bottom at now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the VIX. But then the dollar, the dollar is looking pretty bearish for the overall market. It's just waiting. Um, well, I guess we're waiting to see if it can break right here. And if it can't break this right here, it could be an ABC move. And if it's ABC move, we would change this to A, A, B, C, B, and then have one more move lower. And that would be catastrophic for the bears because that would mean the downside is only happening um, for the next couple of days. 
at most and so maybe we just get this move down here and then we get a move higher so it could look something like this and then we get move up here and then we get a move down here it could look like something like that if that happens then you can expect the spy definitely to go to like 425 or 420 or something like that so dollar we're waiting to see if it can break this trend line spy i'm looking for a little upside on monday and then a pullback vix looks like it could go lower and so overall i pretty much changed my position short term just to bullish and uh i don't know how much upside is left but it looks like we're probably going to be bullish let's say the dollar does end up doing the abc pattern that was a 18 day move so let's say on wednesday we get up to here or monday or tuesday and then we move down we could see maybe going into um opex on august or maybe even late august down here in the 104s maybe even all the way down here to 102 and that would give us that monthly candle we've been waiting for for the overall fourth wave on did it already happen we have a red candle here no we did not so red candle and then we go higher for the fifth wave so that's pretty much what i see right now definitely looking like it's going to go higher in my opinion and uh we probably got a few more weeks of this before we start to move down. So that's the update for the, the weekend here on the 5th. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I will make another video on Monday to update you on what's going on.